Bihar has been a land of constant learning, the ancient seat of wisdom, perennial donor of knowledge, from the Vedic ashrams of the rishis to the ancient universities of Nalanda and Vikramshila. The land where the process of assimilating and disseminating knowledge has continued seamlessly down the ages. It has been the blessed land of Buddha and Mahavira and of Chanakya and Chandragupta who together propelled the destiny and affluence of the city of Patliputra to a meteoric rise. In the state of Bihar, to ensure that legacy of the legendary Chanakya, the most accomplished statesman and scholar of all times is never thrown into oblivion a need was felt by the government for the institution of a university that can duly institutionalize the cherished values of this acclaimed great scholar and acknowledged lawmaker and administrator by providing quality legal education which would constantly strive to raise national legal standards to competitive international level and would promote legal awareness in the community at large. This university promotes those values which have been enshrined in our constitution. Thus, on July 2006, came into being the Chanakya National Law University at Patna through an ordinance under the able guidance of its founder Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. A. Lakshminath. The university established under the Chanakya National Law University Act 2006 was included under sections 2F and 12B of the UGC Act 1956. Over the past nine years, the institution has recorded phenomenal progress and the students that have passed from the institution are doing well in whatever field they have settled now. Some of the students are practicing in the Patna High Court, some others in other high courts. And as I find the knowledge which they have got in the institution is virtually second to none. The Nitish Kumar government has taken a step to invite me immediately to start Chanakya National University and as a result of which the ordinance was passed establishing Chanakya National University and the university came into existence on 15th of July 2006. This ordinance was replaced by Chanakya National University Act. The university's main objectives are to provide quality legal education to the first no students of Bihar and thereafter to the people of India and thereby shaping a good lawyers for the country and help the excellence both in legal education and also in the administration of justice. The Chanakya National Law University is one of the premier national law universities. The students are selected through All India Entrance Examination CLAT that is organized every year across the country at the national level. The students of this university have proved their mettle in various academic co-curricular activities at the national and international moot court competitions and events and thereby have brought many laurels to the university. It has been quite amazing to see that in such a short span of time the students of the university have made such a significant progress. To realize the objectives, the university provides quality, comprehensive, multidisciplinary legal education to meet domestic and international demands with talented, specialist faculty promoting research too in the field of law. 
So far, four scholars were awarded LLD and 11 scholars were awarded PhD in Law and Social Sciences with Law and Science with Law. All teachers are actively engaged in research. No educational institution is complete without adequate facilities to its students, faculties and employees. At the Chanakya National Law University, students study in modern multi-level sitting arrangements in their classroom equipped with all latest teaching aids. From a humble beginning as a stopgap arrangement at Ain Sina Institute, the institution is now functioning from its own campus and it has also made a name for itself nationally and internationally. Credit goes both to the faculty led by the Vice Chancellor Professor Lakshminath as well as the students who have made who have achieved what they have achieved by sheer dint of hard work. CNLU provides wide range of facilities on its campus. A well-managed residential accommodation with modern facility is provided to students. Separate hostels are available for boys and girls students. Mess and canteen facilities on campus provide everything from a simple coffee and sandwich to a full meal. The university provides a full range of medical services for students and for employees who register as patients. In addition to general practice services, CNLU provides a range of specialist clinics and visiting practitioners. The Chanakya National Law University organizes regular career fairs, training workshops, and one-to-one -one guidance for students. The counseling service aims to enable students to achieve their academic and personal goals by providing confidential counseling and support for any difficulties encountered while being at CNLU. The university also provides a wide range of IT services including Wi-Fi enabled internet access. A number of retired judges of the Supreme Court, High Courts and Lower Judiciary as well as senior advocates and acclaimed educationalists have been assisting the CNLU in its teaching and research programs making education at CNLU a rare and exciting experience to the student body. CNLU believes in setting an example of maintaining financial autonomy along with greater accountability. It is equipped with a state-of-art infrastructure for successfully imparting legal education of the highest standards. The faculty of CNLU comprises highly acclaimed who are proactively involved in grooming the younger generation to take CNLU to greater heights of success. Nearly 400 students have passed out from CNLU. They are serving the nation in different capacities, either in uh, some um, legal firms or in pro legal profession or teaching faculty. But wherever they are, they have proved their mantle and they have proved that CNLU has provided them quality education. The Chief Justice of Patna High Court happens to be the Chancellor because in the traditional universities, it is the governor of the state who is the chancellor, but in CNLU, Chief Justice of Patna High Court is the chancellor. It has a governing council which consists of eminent personalities like Attorney General of India, Chairman of Bar Council, eminent judges. I think that CNLU can match with any of the national law universities of the country. Chanakya National Law University was established on July 2006. From 2006 to 2010, our university had been working from ANC Institute of Social Studies near Gandhi Maidan. We conducted our own examinations, admission competitive examinations for two years, namely 2006 and 2007. 
and from 2008 we are the members of the CLAT. So our admission takes uh, place from the CLAT examinations. The university is spread on 18 acres of land at Nyaya Nagar near the Meetapur bus stand at Patna. A sprawling lawn with various types of palm trees adds beauty to the landscape. It has large areas that are custom designed and well maintained as grounds, fields and courts for different sports activities. Considering the fact that extracurricular activities provide students with important opportunities for personal development and growth outside the classroom. CNLU Patna campus has developed many modern and non-conventional facilities for the students. The very distinctive character of all the NLUs and particularly my NLU, National Law University, is its strict academic calendar and an environment that makes you study, that makes you study hard, that makes you a competent lawyer. Seniors over here are very helping, they are helping in every way. They will try to intrude you in you every qualities you are having. If you are having good qualities, if you are having skills of debating, they will try to intrude, intrude quality, debating qualities from you. We have a very excellent academic environment in our university. A sense of social sensitiveness and a sense of justice is also inculcated in our mind so that when we complete our legal education, we we feel an obligation towards society and we so, something we will deliver to our society at large. IT skills and IT understanding are central prerequisites for students both now and especially for the future. The advantage of using information technology is that time-consuming work routines can increasingly be performed by means of this technology and time can thus be devoted instead to communicating and informing, to processing of information and the production of knowledge. CNLU is a part of NKN and NMEICT project of Government of India. The well-stocked modern library is situated in a separate building. The purpose of the library is to provide information services and access to bibliographic and full text digital and printed resources to support the scholarly and informational need of the university community. The library is well equipped with modern facilities and resources in the form of CD-ROMs, online databases, books, e-journals, reports, theses, etc. The library has a collection of more than 15,000 books and journals worth over rupees 3 crores. It also subscribes to more than 65 Indian and foreign journals including international law journals like Harvard Law Review, Yale Law Journals, Stanford Law Reports, American Jurisprudence and others. The University Library also subscribes online database of Westlaw, Manupatra, Hain Online, JSTOR, Corporate Law Advisor, AIR, LexisNexis, SCC and others. It follows universally acceptable Dewey Decimal Classification Scheme for arranging books. The timings at the library are flexible in order to facilitate the student's learning schedule. The library has adopted an open access system so as to facilitate users to have easy access to the library resources. The Chanakya National Law University offers various courses at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. At present, BA, LLB Honours and BBA, LLB Honours courses are offered to undergraduate students. At the postgraduate level, students can opt for postgraduate diploma or LLM, PhD and LLD courses. In the examination, adopt a, absolutely a fair system where the centralized systems are there, where the every teachers will have to be sit in the one place itself for uh, evaluating the papers. 
and before the papers is being evaluated uh, we go for the coding of the papers itself and the codings are also being made very effectively very confidently the placement cell of the university has been working relentlessly to ensure that graduating students avail best of the job opportunities graduates of the university have been privileged enough to secure best job opportunities such as judicial clerkship in the supreme court and high courts reputed law firms and lpos several students of the university were selected for the state judicial services and central intelligence services the university regularly organizes various programs to protect child rights in active collaboration with unicef and various ngos like bal sakha and aman through its child rights center the cnlu legal aid society provides legal aid and spreads legal awareness and legal literacy among the masses the society helps the people in resolving their disputes with amicable means of alternative dispute resolution mechanism like mediation negotiation conciliation and arbitration several programs were held by the society to ensure accessibility of justice to that strata of society who are destitute and downtrodden by making them aware of the legal rights and duties nss wing of the university has been working ceaselessly to strengthen bond of fraternity and patriotism among the people it has been successfully organizing various camps to contribute for maximum inclusive social growth in a wholesome and holistic manner the nss volunteers of the university have done commendable job by organizing blood donation camps and participated in several rallies to show their solidarity with core social issues they have adopted some villages to ensure the momentum of development The university has successfully organized several national level seminars and workshops including a round table conference on land disputes in Bihar in collaboration with Landesa RDI of Hyderabad. The university with grants from UGC has opened a school of para legal studies which will provide free legal services to poor people in matters relating to land disputes identification of lands and land records students of the university have also immensely contributed in organizing national moot court and debate competitions at regular intervals the mooting and debating society of the university has been very active and has been successfully providing intensive training and support to its students in an unstinted manner moot court society has been honing the mooting abilities of young law students they are equipped with all necessary skills in virtual court ambience so that they attain perfection in the forensic skills the students are encouraged to represent the university in several national and international moot court competitions of great repute in the past the teams of the university have brought laurels to the university students of the university were adjudged the winner of 10th law center 1 all india national moot court competition organized by faculty of law university of delhi In addition to that the same year the team of the university was adjudged as the winner of 28th bar council of india national moot court competition subsequently one of the teams of the university was adjudged as the winner of the best memorial in the north india rounds of prestigious philip cj sub international moot court competition on the basis of their spectacular performance 
on the South India rounds of Stateson National Moot Court Competition, the team was selected for the international rounds of a Stateson International Environmental Moot Court Competition and one of the team of the university had even gone to University of Florida for the international rounds. The students of the university participated in 16th DM Harish International Moot Court Competition and the students were adjudged the winner of the best memorial at the DM Harish International Moot Court event which was organized by the Government Law College Mumbai. In 2014 itself, the Commonwealth Legal Education Association India Asia Round Moot Court Competition were organized at CNLU itself. More than 30 teams had participated in the event and almost all the premier national law universities had participated. The convocation program is organized for the graduating batches at regular intervals. The program is attended by Chief Justice of India, Honorable Judges from the Supreme Court and Patna High Court along with many legal luminaries across the nation. The second convocation program was organized by CNLU on the 14th February 2015. The Honorable Chief Justice of Supreme Court, Justice H. L. Dattu, Honorable Chief Justice of Patna High Court, Justice L. Narasimha Reddy, and many other Honorable Judges and legal luminaries were present on the occasion. This university is yet being established only in the year 2006. But the initiative it has taken since its birth and the quality of education it has rendered shows that the age is not the measure of achievement. The measure is the students. It is remarkable that in a short span of time, the students of this prestigious university have ushered a new era in legal excellence. The Vice Chancellor and the other teaching faculty are evincing a lot of interest in expanding the activity of the institution. I am confident that in the years to come, the institution would turn out to be one of the most important centers of learning. The Supreme Court every year selects some students, some 15 students throughout the country and out of the 15 students, 5 students are selected from this university for the judicial clerks, which is a very important assignment given by the Supreme Court and mostly by the Supreme Court judges. And Supreme Court judges and the Chief Justice of India several times acknowledged their contribution particularly in legal research and also for their help in the judgments of the judges. The Chanakya National Law University has always tried to maintain a balance of academic and extracurricular activities in order to groom students into future professionals who are mentally, emotionally and physically ready for the competitive world.